for today's episode of Side Draw Some Stuff, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm looking up references on a different device than I am filming with. And, uh, check it out. I'm going to draw some members of the Big Bang Theory cast. I don't want to copy any of these photos exactly, but I want to, like, use some stuff. I don't know if I want to draw the whole uh, cast just yet, but I'm definitely going to draw Jim Parsons. So without further ado, let's draw Jim Parsons. All right. This photo is blurry, but I like that. I don't know if that picks up really. Ah, you can see. Look at all that JPEG. Look at how... Ah, yeah. You understand. Because you're smart and have empathy and all that stuff. And Jim Parsons' character on uh, Big Bang's Theory is smart but doesn't have empathy and stuff. Whoa. What a grand irony that is. He's like... Smart, but he can't see what a dick is he is to everyone. Whoa! And I, <laughs> I like that show. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people love to make fun of it. Call it, like, Bing Bong Theory. Or, uh... Bazinga! But whatever. It's a sitcom. And it's watchable, and it's got character development that happens over the long term in a really slow way. And I think it's fun. Is it perfect? Is it... No, of course not. Is it, uh, offensive to some people? Yeah, even, sure. Is it valid and entertaining? Oh, fuck yeah. Nah, not to everyone. Really, I just like it because I was a nerd, and I find it relatable, and, you know, shit like that. There was an episode of uh, the show in the first or second season where Sheldon had to uh, get someone a gift, and he wasn't sure what people would want, and he bought multiple gifts, and he returned all the ones that they didn't want. I think his goal was to spend the least money somehow or something. Gosh, I don't even remember this, but that was the one that made me start watching the show on the regular. He's got like a long sleep shirt underneath his short sleep shirt. And this, uh, this anatomy is getting bad. I don't know if I want to fix it, because I don't really like fixing it in these videos. I think that, I don't know. It's more fun to uh, embrace the looseness of a drawing sometimes. That's not what pros do, though. Pros fix shit. A lot of times I want to be a pro, but then I have to do things like fix my drawings, then I'm like, fuck it, I'll just work in restaurants forever. Uh, the reference again so you can see exactly uh, what kind of idiocy that I have brought upon the world so far
So I'm going to pretend for a second uh, never heard about this show and I'll tell you a little bit about what it's about and who these characters are. So The Big Bang Theory is about some nerds and down the hall is a pretty woman and they're socially awkward but she hangs out with them for some reason and this forces them to like get better at interacting like normal people. There's this guy I haven't drawn yet over here, Kuthra Pali. He can't even, uh, when the show starts, he can't talk to women without being drunk. But over the seasons, he slowly gets over that. And this guy, he's uh, an egotistical narcissist who thinks he is the smartest, the greatest. But he doesn't really get over that. He just gets a little bit better at hmm, coexisting with people. He even gets a girlfriend for some reason. And this guy, he gets the hot girl who moved in. And I, I guess that's problematic language, saying like, oh, he gets the person. That's weird. You don't get people. You get people to like you, though. But everyone likes him for some reason, which is, I guess, what feeds into his uh, delusional narcissism. People are trying to talk to me on the internet while I make these videos. Don't you know I'm making videos, people? I can't talk to you while I talk to the whole world. Hold on. Sorry. When I don't feel like drawing all of someone's hand, I just turn it into ghosts. So one of the problems I guess people have with the show is that the central dorky characters are like kind of awful people despite their like intelligence and their like many uh, pluses. They're not just awkward, they're like mean to each other and they don't really uh, understand how other people are going to relate to them or fit in. So they invite a lot of uh, meanness into their lives by perpetuating it. But the show doesn't really comment on it that way. The show just presents it like these are people in a TV show. This is how people in a TV show act like. They invite a lot of extra conflict because if they didn't, it would be boring. Real life doesn't work that way. So good job, geniuses who don't like this show. And, uh... Good job, me, on this drawing. I'd a kick! But thanks for uh, sharing this time and this drawing with me. I'm going to do another one. Thank you.